little bit about um, how important it is to use single barbless hooks when uh, fishing uh, salmon that there's an opportunity you might have to release them. And so just quickly uh, using hoochies, um, demonstrate how you can effectively rig a, uh, a hoochie with a single hook. So you can see that we've got a single three-aught hook here. We've got a bead chain, we've got a barrel swivel, a twinkle skirt, a hoochie, and some 40 pound fluorocarbon. Guys will go up as far as 60 on the fluorocarbon, but we're using 40 today. So the first thing we're gonna do is uh, take the barb off the hook. Always check that, it's barbless hook, only regulations in BC, you can see the barb there, and we're just gonna crimp it down really solidly with a pair of pliers. You need to make sure that you really get it down there and uh, that there's no evidence of the barb in place. Next thing we'll do is take that, that crimped hook and put it on the barrel swivel, okay? And, uh, and then to, to use a side wash effectively like this, this is a side wash, open eye side wash hook. So we now need to close the eye, which we'll do using the pliers. And uh, you sometimes have to really squeeze them hard to get this done, but there we go. You need it to close it to the point, obviously, where the swivel can't get out of it if it rotates back. So we've got this. This is how I measure my hoochie leaders for Chinook. From the end of my finger to the end of my shoulder, just about underneath my, my chin. And that seems to always give me roughly the right length. It's so all kinds of knots you can use to attach the, uh, to attach the hook to the, uh, to, to the line to the barrel swivel. Today we're just going to use a simple fisherman's knot for you folks. So that's through the eye of the hook. One, two, three, four wraps over back through the hole, spit on a bit to, uh, to get it to slide properly without binding, and then tighten it up. Fluorocarbon can be pretty sticky at times, so make sure you lubricate it really well. Trim off the tag end, and then the next that'll go on is our twinkle skirt. There's a hole in the bottom of it, you just thread right through. Then through the hoochie, sits there like that. You see how that hook sits with the, with the swivel in place there. That hook sits quite nicely back. So you're not gonna miss any bites, right? The hook is in the right spot so that if a fish bites that, you're not gonna miss any. And then just attach your bead chain. You can use a bead chain, you can use a barrel swivel. Pretty much any kind of swivel will do for a hoochie simply because the, uh, the hoochie doesn't spin a lot in the water. It's not gonna twist your leader up. One, two, three, four, back through. Lubricate it a bit, tighten it up. Finish it off and there you've got a, a hoochie rigged, single barbless, ready to go for an effective release without, uh, without the, the potential that tandem hooks have of hooking fish in the eye or in the gills, stuff like that. That's one hook that's gonna end up in its mouth when it, uh, when it bites it. Brendan Morrison here. Did you know one of the best things you can do to support Real West Coast is to subscribe to our channel? We have tons of new content, tutorials, and full episodes coming soon. Don't miss them.